And as you can tell by the title, I am doing my American candy video. And I'm basically just gonna be trying some American candy out. And I haven't had any of these before, but I have had, if any of you are asking, I have had Reese's before and I love them. And I've just brought, been out in town and just brought some. So these are the options that I have, then I have another bag myself. But I'm just gonna try these ones first because my sister wants some, so I'm just gonna try these ones first. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to try is Jolly Ranchers. And these are the these are the only ones that I could get in town because they didn't really have any more. All they had green apple, and I've tried the green apple one, like one of the green apple ones already. I'm just I really just want a to try a Jolly Watermelon Jolly Rancher. But yeah, so this is the watermelon flavour, and I'm just gonna try it now. I mean, I don't really have anything to spit out in, but. I'm just gonna go and try these, so they look like that. I mean, I don't mean to offend anyone who likes these, or who likes any of this American candy, it's just what I personally like for my preference. And they're not bad. But because they're watermelon flavour, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really go for these again if I saw them in the shop again. I'd probably go for the green apple. But yeah, and I'm just gonna have to spit this one out because it's just, I could leave. It's just. But I rate this one. I rate the um, watermelon Jolly Ranchers a four out of ten, just because of the flavour and the. I mean, it's not bad but I just, I, I can't really eat one man. But next up, we have some Sour Patch Kids and I've never ever tried these. I love how they're sour, but I've never, it's like I've never like eaten these. So like, I like how they come in like packaging and stuff. Like, but yeah, I just got these in our local food shop, the same as the Jolly Ranchers. But what are the flavor on here? I'm guessing this one's lemon. Ooh, they're chewy. Yeah, that was lemon. And they're sour, but um, they're not too, they're not overly powerful but sour. Um, Let's try another one. What's this one? I'm guessing this one is blue raspberry, I'm guessing. Blue raspberry. That one's that one that one's is good. I'm guessing this is a cherry or a strawberry. I think that was cherry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was cherry. And I'm just gonna get a, I'm gonna go for, they do like an orange one in here. Oh, and this one's probably, I'm guessing it's probably orange. And there's a green, which I'm guessing is just green apple. I don't know if it's just because of the lemon and the green one, it's just a little bit more sour. But I would rate these out of 10, I'd rate these a solid, I'd rate these a 10. Because I love all the flavors in them and they're sour but not too sour and my favorite sweets are sour sweets i've actually had some sweets that are even more that are even more sour than this so but yeah i like this the right kind of sourness and 
Yeah, so they were, I'm gonna give these a 10. Next up, we're doing some Swedish fish. Now I've tried the strawberry because my brother had it in his American candy for his birthday. So I've tried the strawberry flavor, but I've never tried any of the other flavors. So I'm excited to try the other flavors. So let's try, I'm guessing this is a green, a green apple kind of flavor. I can't really work out the flavour for this, but I'm guessing it's green apple, I think. I'm guessing it is. They even say. If anybody knows what are the flavours in here, there is orange lemon. I'm guessing the orange one is orange, the lemon is lemon. Um, the strawberry is obviously strawberry, and the apple is. I'm guessing this green one is apple. But am I reading it right? Because, like, where's the actual. Okay, so that was a apple one. I'm gonna go for a yellow one. Mm. Gonna try a red because why not? Get the orange one. Oh, there we go. So, Swedish fish for me is I like all the flavours in them. I think the lemon one is definitely my favourite. If it is lemon, I'm guessing it is. But yeah, I think that is my favourite one. And then obviously strawberry and then, yeah. But these get, I'd rate these a 9.5 out of 10 because I gave the sour ones a solid 10 because I obviously like sour um, foods, but some people hate them, some people like them. I really, I really like them. So I'm waiting the, um, right, that is what I'm gonna rate these. Next bag is obviously some stuff that my brother gave me out of his American candy box. And I'm gonna start off with just picking the random thing out of the bag. Is this fund it? Fund it. And it's kind of like we have um it's like a lolly and you dip sherbet, it's like called a dip dab. But I've never actually are you, how do you actually get these open? This is probably going to go everywhere. Yep, it's already going everywhere. Yeah, we have a single dip. Oh. It's just broke, but. This like sherbet is really nice. I'm guessing it's apple and raspberry. What? Can I? Are you supposed to put? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. I'm trying not to break any teeth. Um, the texture of a lolly kind of reminds me of, um, I feel from the UK and you should know this, but they kind of remind me of them little tiny like powdery sweets, what they called, like a love heart powdery sweets where you get messages on them. They, the lolly kind of tastes like that. And then I just happily just eat this um, sherbet side on my own, on it, I mean, on, on its own because it's really nice. I'd rate this one a 
8 out of 10 because even though I would have preferred it to be more sour and I think they could have put the lolly sour or something as well but apart from that fun dip I give it a and this flavour as well I give it a probably like 8 out of 10 because I'm just going to have to try some sherbet Yeah, the, the sherbet part is really nice. But yeah, this gets a 8 out of 10 for that. Okay, this one is not very really nice. The lolly, I'll give the lollies. I kind of like the lolly. I mean, it's the same as the other one, but the sherbet in this one, I don't like the flavour of it. It's some kind of like it tastes. Yeah, I just realised that is cherry. Um, I didn't think it was going to be cherry. Um, but I might just have another quick taste. I don't know. No. I'm sorry, but this one gets a 1 out of 10. So that we're going for a, I just pulled this out of the random, a Tootsie Roll. And I've heard mixed things about these. Some people say they like them, some people hate them. I'm going with a Tootsie Roll. And most people like them because they come in, yeah, they come in like a cardboard. Thing we don't in the UK. There's only certain things I think that come in a. Ew. And I've never actually had a Tootsie Roll before, but I've heard some stuff about them, so I'm just going to give it a try. Oh. Chewy. That was actually really hard to bite into. It's just like fudge. But I'm not really sure about the. I don't really have that much flavour to it. So I don't worry about the flavour is, if it even is a little bit of flavour, I don't like that flavour, whatever it is. Um, why do, please, if you if you like these, in the comments, tell me why do you actually, why do people like these? I mean, I'm going to have to spit this out because it's all stuck in my teeth. I give the Tootsie Roll out of 10. Zero. I didn't like it whatsoever. I just thought I was gonna like it because it was meant to be like I thought it was like a caramelly toffee kind of taste, but it wasn't at all. And it's all stuck in the back of my teeth. And I wouldn't if I ever saw this again, or if I ever was in America, or if I ever wanted, if I ever I wouldn't pick it up again. I'd give it a zero. I wouldn't even rate it. I mean, I'm sorry if I just offended like your favorite sweet chocolate bar, whatever you call these. But I personally, for me, I didn't, I didn't really enjoy that, so that I'm eating. Cause, uh, my brother just, my brother had one of these, that's why they're open. But they're like these little lemon kind of sweets, which I'm hoping would make, make this taste go out of my mouth. I mean, I should have brought a drink up here, but I don't have one. So they just look like this and Oh god! I did not think they were going to be really hard. I love the flavour. These are the original, but. 
Oh, lemon candy. I mean, this flavour is. I'd rate the flavour. I mean, I'd probably rate these about a. Six, seven, six point five, something like that. Because I didn't think they were going to be that this hard, and you really, ha I really had to bite into that. I don't know, maybe it just it might just be my teeth, but I really had to like bite into it on the back. Yeah, I'd rate it about six slash seven out of ten because I like the flavour, but they weren't that amazing. I wish they were a bit sour, sour. Wish they were a little bit more sour or even sour because I don't even think they were. But yeah, I'd give these um, a 6 slash 7 out of 10. Next up we have these and I'm quite actually... Are these peanut? I feel like... Oh yeah, they're peanuts. Like, I hate peanuts. I'm actually just gonna... I actually might just want to get the bag ready. They look like this. Mm -hmm. Wish I had a drink now, but I'd rate these. I rate these the same as that Tootsie Roll, I wouldn't even rate these. So thank you so much for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more, comment down below what was your favourite sweet and I will see you all next time. Bye guys! So hey guys, as you can tell by the title I'm going to be filming my H&M haul and I got some bits because I needed to get some bits for college and